Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flicks. Um, I've had numerous people ask me how to remove um, backgrounds of images um, that any kind of back, any kind of background when you want just a picture. Um, for instance, it could be a, a photograph, and you want just the picture of the person. You don't want all the the background in there. I'm just going to go on here and grab an image off of Google. Um, and I'm going to just grab this one right here because this has got a lot in the background here. And I want to show you how you can remove that using um, Clipping Magic. It's just called ClippingMagic.com. And let me grab, I downloaded it into my photos, which I accidentally closed. Didn't mean to do that. Um, let me see here. These are all our Halloween. Let me get down here at the bottom. There it is. So I'm going to take this and just drag and drop it right in there. And get rid of that. There we go. Now you see a, a green plus mark here and a red minus. The red minus is to remove it. The red means you don't want it. The green means you do. I'm going to click on the red first. And I am just going to go around her and... Let's see what I don't want. And go all around here. And I think I'll keep some of that. And, and let me get in here. And around here. And around here. Then I'm going to go to the green and go around what I do want. Now see to the right, you can see her come to life here without any background. Um, let's see here. Well, I think that looks pretty good right there. There's a little bit right in here that I don't want. So what I'm going to do is zoom in really close because um, and then click this little X here so I can move my screen. Um, because I have a magic mouse. I can't move it. The dot for the what you want to get rid of you don't have any control over that so what you have to do to make that that red dot smaller is you have to make your picture bigger now I want to get a little bit more on Sebastian here so I'm gonna and let me see if I really want to zoom in and tighten this up a little bit you can see it's whoops yep you can see the blue. I accidentally did too much on his face here. Whoop. Forgot. I need to move it with this. And I hit the wrong one. I was trying to move it. So I messed that up. Now let me get rid of this. And I'm looking at the picture over the right as I remove this. Now, it doesn't look that good close up, but when you back out, you can see, because you zoom in, when you zoom in so close, it's really hard to get a good image or a good view of what you're looking at. Um, let me move this over here and zoom in a little bit more again. Again, I'm working with the magic mouse that on this I keep forgetting. I can't move my screens around. Now, um, you can purchase this, this clipping magic and you pay by the month depending on how many images you use and I have not gotten it because I very 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 rarely use it you know what I think I'm gonna do while I'm here is I'm gonna do I'm gonna go around this little guy and then I'm gonna go in here um, I don't use it enough um, that I just don't think it's worth it for me to purchase it. This would be a case where you'd have to move, zoom in and zoom in further and move it down here and zoom in a little further and move it down a little bit more and then do your green in here that I want. And why is it not moving? Come on. Looks like it must have stopped working on me. What happened? 
What happened? Don't know. But it's not... Oh, maybe I don't have enough red going around. I don't know what I did. But I'm going to take some more red and get rid of some of this blue. Some of this blue is a little too... And you know what I just did, I think. I wasn't paying any attention when I was holding that down and I think I just and I did I ran right through her face it's like holding the eraser down when you're working in the silhouette software if you hold your eraser down you forget to let go of it it'll continue to erase there we go I just decided to use both of them and now what I'm going to do is move these up and then I'm going to change my background to white and in this particular case I'm just going to do a screenshot to show you how it comes out and we're going to close that and let me open another page oh that is the one I just did and that's not what I wanted I wanted the screenshot which this is the screenshot. Then what you would do is you would take this and trace it. And we're going to go here. I just did this really quick. If you really mess around with it, not if, you have to really mess around to fine tune it. However, I had made this video last night and for some reason I was not able to upload it. I don't know what the heck happened. Then I would go and I would put uh, a white um, offset on it and and then turn my light my line white and there you have it. Um, there's a little bit in here that I would have cleared up a little more like I did on this one. But anyway, that is to get rid of the background. Um, and somebody else asked me today how to do an off uh, internal offset. So I'm going to just draw a box here, and I'm going to color it in whatever color the box. Okay? I want to do an, an internal offset. Now, anybody watching me, um, let me change that line to black so you can see it. Anybody watching me, um, do this that knows how you can go directly to the internal offset please share it with me because I do it the long way and I know this is not it's impossible but this is the way to do it um, I've got the box around it but now I'm doing undoing I should have undone I should have anyway you saw the black line around it I'm going to undo it and remove that and there's no offset and let's try this again. Um, I'm going to zoom in now. And I want to change my line to black. And I'm going to change my, I'm going to do my offset again. You see the black line around there? I want it internal, but it's grayed out. And the only way that I can get it so it's not grayed out is to undo what I just did. Then I get where I can do the internal. So when I click the internal, you can see the line there. I'm just going to type in another number, 0.225. There we go. Now I can take this internal and I can, whoops, I didn't do that right at all. I needed to click off of it. I'm going nuts here. I'm having a bad night. Guys, I'm having a not-so-good night. I don't know if this is the internal. It isn't. What the heck? Oh, because I'm online. Ugh, I forgot. That's why. Well, I'm going to put it back over here in the box. I'll teach you two things. There's my internal. I'm going to box the whole thing in. I'm going to go to this thing that looks like a doorknob. I'm going to say center, and it'll line them up. That's how you do an internal offset. The, when you would want to do an internal offset is like if you were making a card, like I did the uh, Disney cruise ship, 
when I wanted to make the inside of the card. I did an internal offset so that when I made the card and then I went to do the layer that would go inside, it would have a little bit of a border and it would fit in there and be uniform. Um, because if I was to take, like let's say even this, I'm just going to take her and color a solid color and I was going to make a card out of her. Um, and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to flip it and then I'm going to drag it over here. Well, you know what, this is going to be too long to do it by hand and I'm going to just weld them together right there. Get these pieces out of here. I'm going to weld these two together um, and then once they're welded together they would fold in half but now that's going to be the outside of the card when I decorate it. So if I wanted an inside for another layer that would be when I would do my internal. But now I gotta undo it and hit internal and then I'm gonna do two, 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 five. There we go. And there we go. Now if I click on that, there we go. This would be my piece for the inside of the card that would fit. You make it any size you want, but it would fit right inside there. Um, and then you'd fold your card in half. That's how I do that. I hope that made sense. But anyway, I'm going to try again on this because again, I, I, I tried to do it last night and it didn't, it wouldn't save. So hopefully this one will. But anyway, have a good night everybody. Bye-bye.